safely approach the kettlebell with a straight spine and having the kettlebell forward of your foot you see how the swing starts just by picking the kettlebell up a nice straight spine and hinging at the hips is key for a strong posterior chain activation and placing the kettlebell down just in front of the foot line again keeps that spinal alignment same action same points with the single arm swing the spine is straight and you can see that there's no elevation of the shoulder as the bell is reaching its top position so keeping the shoulders aligned and, and centered and the arms straight keeps everything structurally aligned and safe moving to more soft position you rotate the bell so the handle is coming through thumb first still keeping the straight spine but the eyes are drifting down just a little opening up the shoulder at the back just a little more than in the strict version still hinging at the hips and driving through the floor with the feet to open up the hips and activate the glutes the final version is a soft and rotated version allowing us to drive off the floor with the opposite foot so really playing with the spiral line in fascia terms looking between the legs, keeping the elbow soft as you did in the last version and letting the weight of the bell pull you into flexion and driving off the floor with the opposite foot. So the bell is in the left hand in this video and the right foot is driving mostly off the floor. Moving to club version, same action, same arm position, same structure and setup nice straight spine straight arms like boxing there's there's no wrists in these actions the wrist is kept straight and hinging through the hip driving off the floor pressing the heels down to float the club up as you did with the kettlebell single arm version you can do between the legs and just to save time for the sake of the video doing the outside of the leg which is an advantage of a club bell in a, opposed to a kettlebell the bulbous belly of the kettlebell you can't really swing comfortably or safely outside the leg which you can do here with the club you're getting that same rotational aspect that you got with the single arm kettlebell but you're not having to drive the rotation as much with the weight of the club going further back behind you from the outside position rather than between the legs Enjoy your practice.